Hey everyone, it's Alessandra here from Critical Hit. We're still in LA covering E3, the show's kicking off tomorrow, but today we got a big sampler of a lot of the games Microsoft showed off at their press conference yesterday. Uh, I got some hands-on time with Ori and the Wis Wind of the Wisps, that's the one. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. If you enjoyed the first game, the second game in this brief 15-minute teaser that I got to try out just kind of expands on the movesets and the type of feel that you have when playing um, Ori. You, the demo in question had this really, really cool move where you could use Ori and kind of burrow in the sand. Uh, there were enemies that were in the sand and you'd have to use like a dash move to damage them while you were busy burrowing your way frantically trying to avoid obstacles in there. And it tied into platforming really nicely too. You could use a button to kind of jettison yourself out of uh, sandbanks and use that to reach higher platforms that traditional jumping wouldn't be able to get you to. There's the same good sense of uh, Metroidvania style backtracking. Uh, you'll reach a lot of doors that you can't get through or a lot of enemies that seem to have a trick to them that you can't really figure out. Uh, and as you explore and open the map, you'll find new abilities and new ways to get around certain obstacles. And it's just really, really rewarding. It looks gorgeous. It feels really tight and very, very juicy to play. And I just absolutely adored my 15 minutes with it. Uh, after that, we went straight into a demo of Forza Horizon 4. We got to sample a little race from each of the four seasons that the game is putting out now uh, spring winter autumn and summer and whereas spring and summer kind of play the same you're just racing through this gorgeous countryside in the blistering sun winter and autumn are where things get kind of weird and interesting um, in autumn the ground is kind of waterlogged and when you're playing more rally focused tracks uh, your cars kind of do these really cool jumps and you slide across terrain really nicely during the winter though uh, lakes freeze over the snow affects your traction completely and the game really feels like it transforms with each of the four seasons. This isn't a sort of like a visual gimmick, it is a gameplay centric gimmick that is being used throughout the game and it just looks absolutely stunning. Um, we also got to try out a bunch of third party games. Uh, we got our hands on The Division 2 for the first time. It was a pretty short guided demo. Uh, the one takeaway I can take from it is that it feels a lot like the first Division but that enemies don't feel as much as, you know, they're not bullet sponges like they really felt in the first one. They go down a bit quicker, they feel like they're more realistic, so you're not just shooting another human being in the head, you know, for 30 seconds at a time and just seeing his health kind of slowly chip away. It does look stunning as well. Uh, the new abilities for the new uh, agents is are really fun. I got this kind of like honeycomb robot launcher that launched these little drones at people when they whenever they got near, and that was just really satisfying to use. Um, we also got a chance to play Tunic, the kind of blocky 3D-esque uh, Zelda-like that stars a cute little adorable fox. Uh, main takeaway is that that fox has got a damn cool fringe. It just bounces and bobs as you move around the world. Uh, you get a standard sword and shield to use and it just feels like a very cheerful, very happy-go-lucky uh, type of adventure that I would expect Nintendo to make. But it's on a Microsoft platform and I'm all for that. Uh, we also got to try out a bit of Soul Calibur 6. I was really, really bad at it. Like, really bad. I don't think I won a single match of that game, but we got to try out Geralt and Yoshimitsu, and they feel really great. The game also looks kind of stunning. Um, and that was basically Microsoft's showcase. There were a lot of other smaller third-party games uh, on the show floor that we didn't get time to see that we'll probably see during the show. The big omission was that Crackdown was not playable at the showcase, which kind of speaks to me that it's not going to be playable at E3 again. It was playable last year and the reception to it was incredibly negative. So I wonder if Microsoft is kind of waiting to let Sumo Digital get their feet on their ground, uh, get their feet on the ground with the game till they let people actually give it another go again. But Microsoft had a killer showing last year, uh, Forza Horizon and uh, Ori really blew me away today and I can't wait to see what else they have in store for the rest of the show. For everything else, keep it locked to criticalhit.net.